This mathematics tutorial is a supplement for 8th grade Open Up Resources, Illustrative Mathematics, Unit 5, Lesson 8. The cost of cheese at three stores is a function of the weight of the cheese. The cheese is not prepackaged, so a customer can buy any amount of cheese. Right away I notice some differences. Store A sells the cheese for A dollars per pound, but store B sells the same cheese for B dollars per pound and a customer has a coupon for five dollars off the total price at that store. So that's a coupon that takes five dollars off of the price. Store C is an online store selling the same cheese at C dollar per pound but with a ten dollar delivery fee. So they're tacking on a ten dollar fee for every order. When I look at this graph Right away I see this line that starts at zero pounds of cheese at ten dollars. So that makes me think that this might be store C, the store that charges a delivery fee of ten dollars. At the bottom of the graph you'll find the horizontal axis and the horizontal axis represents the weight of the cheese in pounds. And along the left side of the graph you'll find the vertical axis which represents the cost in dollars. At the bottom left corner of the graph, you'll find the origin that represents zero pounds of cheese and zero cost in dollars. Directly above the origin, I labeled a point that represents $10 for zero pounds of cheese. And you can see the cost of cheese increasing as the number of pounds increase. Look at the horizontal axis the weight of cheese. Between four and six you'll find five pounds. Five pounds of cheese at this particular store costs exactly between twenty and thirty dollars which would be twenty five dollars. So in this case or at this store five pounds of cheese costs twenty five dollars. I could write an equation or a function that would help me calculate how much it would cost to buy a particular amount of cheese at this store. 5 times what number plus 10 equals 25? Since we're talking about line J, I'll replace the question mark with a J. This is a two-step equation. I'd like to find the value for J, and I'll do that by getting the J by itself on the left-hand side of the equal sign. First I'll start by getting rid of the positive 10 and I'll subtract 10 from both sides. 10 minus 10 and 25 minus 10. 10 minus 10 cancels each other out so we have 5j equals 25 minus 10 and 25 minus 10 is 15. Since there's only one step left we can call this a one-step equation. 5j equals 15. I still need to get the j alone. So 5 divided by 5 and 15 divided by 5. 5j divided by 5 is 1j. And 1j is the same as j. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. j equals 3. j represents store C. Store C sells cheese for $3 per pound. Now let's go back to the graph and look at line K. This is interesting because one pound of cheese costs zero dollars and two pounds of cheese costs five dollars. That makes me think that if you used a coupon for five dollars off of one pound that you could get one pound of cheese for zero dollars. Line K must represent store B, the store that had a five dollar coupon. One pound would be free, two pounds would be five dollars, three pounds would be ten dollars, four pounds would be fifteen dollars. Let's use that as our equation or our function. Four times what number minus five dollars equals fifteen dollars. Since this equation or function represents line K, I replace the question mark with K. Now it reads 4k minus 5 equals 15. This is a two-step equation and in order to get the k by itself, first I need to add 5 to both sides. I'm adding 5 to both sides to cancel out that negative 5. So when I add 5 to negative 5, it cancels it out. 
4K minus 5 plus 5 equals 15 plus 5. 4K minus 5 plus 5 is 4K, and 15 plus 5 is 20. So now it reads 4K equals 20. Now it's a one-step equation. All that we have to do now is get the K by itself. I need to divide both sides by 4. 4K divided by 4 and 20 divided by 4. 4K divided by 4 equals 1K, or just K and 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So now it reads K equals 5. Line K represents a store that would sell cheese for $5 a pound. Line K represents store B. Store B sells cheese for $5 per pound. That leaves store A, and store A sells cheese for A dollars per pound. Let's go back to the graph and take a look at the remaining line so that we can identify what exactly is A dollars per pound. Look at line L and the point where it intersects five pounds of cheese and $20. We can write a one-step equation to represent this. Five times what number equals $20? Since we're dealing with line L, I'll replace the question mark with the letter L. Now the function, or the equation, reads 5L equals 20. With one step, we should be able to solve for L. Divide both sides by 5. 5L divided by 5 is 1L, which is the same as L. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. L equals 4. Line L represents store A. Store A sells cheese for $4 per pound. Match stores A, B, and C with graphs J, K, and L. Store A matches with line L. Store B matches with line K. Store C matches with line J. How much does each store charge for the cheese per pound? Store A charges $4 per pound, Store B charges $5 per pound, and Store C charges $3 per pound. How many pounds of cheese does the coupon for Store B pay for? For Store B, a $5 coupon would pay for one pound of cheese, because at Store B, a pound of cheese costs $5 the same amount as the coupon. Which store has the lowest price for a half pound of cheese? Look at line K. With a $5 coupon, one pound of cheese would cost zero dollars. One pound for store B is zero dollars, so a half a pound would be zero dollars. Store B has the lowest price for a half a pound of cheese. If a customer wants to buy five pounds of cheese for a party, which store has the lowest price? Look at lines J and K. Do you see where they intersect? They intersect exactly at the point of five pounds of cheese and $20. And above that, you can see line J represents five pounds of cheese at $25. Lines L and K represents stores A and B. They both have the lowest price for five pounds of cheese. How many pounds of cheese would a customer need to order to make store C a good option? Line J represents store C. Follow line J left to right. It intersects line L, and then it finally intersects line K at 10 pounds of cheese. What this means, if the customer were to buy more than 10 pounds of cheese, line L, or store C, would be the best option. Ordering more than 10 pounds makes store C the best option. You can check out more illustrative mathematics tutorials. Read the video description for more info. If it's worth watching, it's worth subscribing. So please take a moment to become a subscriber. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. button. Become a subscriber.
subscribe button. Become a subscriber.